Good morning, everybody. It's Tracy from ST's Market. Just wanted to do uh, something a little different outside of the shop this morning for a quick video to upload. Um, for any of y'all that might have copper sinks, uh, back in 2020 when we redone our master bath, uh, we chose to go with double uh, copper sinks here in our master bathroom. They're beautiful when they're clean, which lasts about a week. And then over a period of time, due to water and the chemicals and toothpaste and mouthwashes and different things like that, uh, it starts to look like this. And both of them look like this. Uh, and of course, I usually go about two weeks in between the cleanings because <clears throat> it's just us. And I'm not here to impress anybody. But once it gets to this look, then I like to clean it and get it back to the glossy shine. Uh, the first couple of times that I cleaned these sinks, I hated them because it took forever to do two sinks. And then my daughter, which has her own um, housekeeping business, she was over here and she said, Mom, let me clean your sinks so I can show you probably what is going to work for you. She said, because I use it in my cleaning business and uh, it works great on everything. She poured the stuff in and before she even done the first swipe with a rag, you could see the glossiness coming back. So I take stock <laughs> in this cleaner, but it's called Bar Keeper's Friend, the Soft Cleanser. I think they make the soft cleanser like this. Um, they make a powder, and I think they make a spray. I don't like the powder um, just because I'm afraid it's going to scratch. And to me, I've used the spray, and it didn't have enough grit to it to clean very well. So I keep coming back to the soft cleanser. So I'm going to shake it up because it does have a little bit of a grit to it. Um, <clears throat> just as not as much as the powder. So after I shake it, of course I'm trying to do all this one-handed because I forgot my tripod out in the shop. So I want you to watch. And I just make a good ring around it. And when I make when I make the first swipe up here, you'll be able to see uh, how it's already cleaning all this gunk off. See how it's already starting to. And honestly, I don't, I don't use a whole lot of elbow grease. But just take your rag and go in different um, swipes and angles and things like that. And just rub it real good. And of course, like I said, this one has been sitting here for several weeks. Of course, it's gonna have a it's gonna have a thick buildup on it. This usually takes me probably about five minutes to get it back to the glossiness that I like to see, which is you know not any of the little dark spots you know I don't try to get each and every one of them out but I try to get I would say 80 percent 90 percent done I just try to keep my rag saturated with the cleaner and like I said this is a um, hammered surface of these sinks so therefore, you know, they have the little divots in them. Uh, so that's why I try to go left to right and then circles just to make sure I get in each little divot. And then it's got the little band that I just take my fingertip and go into it. You know, sometimes when you're looking at things, whether it's online or um, in a store, you don't know how 
easy or hard that it's gonna be to clean until you get it in your house. And like anything, you know, copper is beautiful when it's fresh and clean. But like I said, over a period of about a week or two weeks, then, you know, it's starting to look gunky again. And you gotta clean it. And until she showed me this barkeeper's stuff, um, like I said, I hated these sinks because, you know, I just didn't, I didn't like the time that it was taken to clean them. Oh, like I said, I was using soft scrub and uh, the magic eraser blocks, uh, just anything. I didn't want to use Ajax because I was afraid Ajax would, you know, really scratch it. But, and of course down here around the um, drainage area, this gets a little thick with the stuff. So you have to bear down a little bit, but not that bad. But anyway, um, until she showed me the barkeeper's friends, um, or friend, uh, I hated these sinks because I thought, oh my Lord, it takes like 30 minutes a piece to clean these sinks. And, you know, so that would be an hour in my bathroom just cleaning two sinks, which is ridiculous. But anyway, I'm done. So that was about five to seven minutes, I guess. Then I just turned my water on hot. And of course this rag's gonna have tons of that soft scrub in it, or not soft scrub, soft cleanser as they call it. And then I just try to, you know, rinse out my rag a pretty good bit because, you know, that's what I'm using to go around the sink to get all that off. But just keep rinsing it until you've got all your residue off. Let me wring that out and toss it over in the next sink that I'm going to be doing because I want to show you how well it looks. I'm just kind of cup your hand. I'll go around the top edges a little bit, right on the edge to get a lot of that off. Of course, then I have to clean up my water mess that I've made on my countertop. But, you know, things have to be done. Now, doesn't that look <laughs> so much better? And I'm going to pan over and let you see the other sink that I have not done yet. So you can just see the huge difference. And this stuff is not that expensive. I think that, um, I think that thing is like $2, $3, something like that. I think it's less than $5. I'll put it that way. So, for me, the barkeeper's friend is amazing. So, let me wipe my hand off. As you can see, that is that. All fresh and clean. And now I'm going to show you the other one. So, isn't that a huge difference that you can tell? Oh, yeah, you can see it now. So, from it went from that to that huge, huge difference. It's just like night and day. And yeah, you can see just a little bit of what it used to look like over the other up here. So, and I know co copper reacts like crazy to different chemicals, but to me, if you do mouthwash or your toothpaste, or even my contact solution. I've noticed when I stand over the sink and I use my contact solution and squirt it, within two or three minutes down here in the bottom area, it's got tarnished things. So I'm thinking, 
how harsh is the things that we use in our daily lives so rough of chemicals that we're putting in our bodies that you know sometimes you just got to use what you got to use like contact solution and toothpaste I'm definitely going to brush my teeth every day but that's just how it looks from this to that so if you got a hard sink or a tub or toilet that's giving you fit so i'm trying to keep it nice and clean try the barkeeper spray like i said they have several different types you can use just try each one to see which one best fits what you need and um i guarantee you, you'll like the barkeeper spray hope everybody has a blessed day but most of all be a blessing